Hey Moon Magic family, welcome back to the channel. In today's readings we are asking how are the planets currently aligning to support you? That is the question that we're asking. I'm actually seeing um, both of these cards for pile one and pile two and this for pile three. So we are drawing three cards together and then we will do readings for each. I'm also going to draw some runes and some charms. And for those of you who have been kind of following, following some of the readings where I've been going out onto the land to amazing places, I will be back on the land um, in a few days doing more readings for you. So do um, keep a lookout for those as well. And I'm also currently working on all zodiac sign readings for the coming moon month. So very exciting times here now. Let us look at your cards. We have Pile 1, Community. Oh, that is beautiful. Pile 1, Community. Pile 2, we have the card of Reflect. And Pile 3, we have the card of Fierce. Okay, now I will draw runes and some charms for you. Okay. So I have two for pile one. We have the rune of Gateway, Thurizaz, and also Awaz, which is the rune of Defense. Here we go. And for pile two, we have uh, Manaz, the rune of the self. And we also have the rune of journey. Let me pop those down. There we go. And then for pile three, we have the rune of Isa, ice. And we have the blank rune as well. Okay. All right. All right. Beautiful souls. Let's throw some charms as well. And then we will um, move on into the readings. Okay. So pile one, you have this beautiful um, feather, this, this feather. I, do you know, I always see this as a feather. And of course it is not. It is a wing, an angel wing with a rose. Isn't that interesting? I think I have such strong associations with angels, um, with feathers as well. You also have the charm of the cat. Pile two, you have three charms. You have the dolphin, you have um, the charm of peace and the Tudor rose as well. Let's pop these here. And then pile three, we have, okay, you have, well, you have four, how interesting. Two charms, three charms, four charms for pile three. We have the flamingo, we have the five pointed star, we have the swans very much in that sort of love position. And we also have the cross. So four charms for pile three. How fascinating the way these have just come out in those numbers, two, three, and four. Okay, my beautiful souls, um, take your time, listen to your gut feeling, your intuition. You may have found yourself drawn immediately to one of the cards or maybe more to the charms. If you find that maybe more than one pile is really kind of resonating with you, then I would just check out both of those readings. Um, you know, sometimes what we find with a pick a card reading, especially something like today's readings, you know, how are the planets currently aligning to support you? Well, they may be aligning in different ways for different areas areas of your world. So if you find that um, you really are drawn to more than one pile, it is probably worth checking out more than one reading.
Beautiful souls, thank you so, so much for being here. And um, I cannot tell you how much it means to me. I know some of you follow my readings, you know, constantly, and I really, really am honored truly to read for you all and very humbled um, and so, so grateful um, for all of you who really tune in on a regular basis. So beautiful souls, thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you in the readings. Hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. So we are asking, you know, how are the planets currently aligning to support you? I think the very first thing that we are going to do is draw some um, astrology cards and also throw the astrology dice as well. First of all, we have the sixth house, the work, health and duty area of your life. We then have Cancer. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring and loving. It may concern family, a mother or a child. And here we have community, that sense of family here. Hmm, very interesting. Dignified, we have strength. Opposition, confrontation, how interesting. Your cards are very, very interesting indeed. Let me see if I can just pause and move the camera out so we're gonna be able to see all our cards. Okay, hopefully we can see everything here now. Um, let's draw or throw the astrology dice as well for you. You have Venus in Capricorn. How very, very interesting. Now. What I, I feel we have here already, my beautiful souls, there is something probably around your family, really, um, that the planets are absolutely aligning to support you. Um, you are really, really being um, cared for, nurtured, supported in navigating something with Gosh, uh, I say navigating something. So what I'm seeing here is with this opposition, this confrontation, I, I feel like there is maybe a conflict between um, to do with duty and obligation, potentially to do with your community, your family, your home, and, and with cancer, yes, family, yeah, family, family, home, and you're being gently supported to handle this situation from a position of, it's like bringing out your strengths. Okay, so we have um, Venus here and we have Capricorn. I, I actually feel like this, there's a situation around you that kind of possibly feels a bit hard work. Okay, maybe there are people around you whose boundaries are not terribly good. I feel like you're having to constantly, in a way, you really love them, you really care about them, you want to be there for them. You know, on the other hand, it feels a bit confrontational. I think the amount of time that's demanded is clashing a bit with your own work, your, you know, so yeah, I think, I think there's quite a significant push-pull energy around you. You know, on the one hand, you do wish to give. On the other hand, I think it's actually really quite challenging for you to give. Yeah, it's definitely, the, it's a relationship where there is an emotional bond. Um, it, community, family, the family um, you choose, friends, as opposed to the family you're born to, but it could be your birth family. There is definitely an, an energy around you that is kind of in conflict, basically, around this. So I'm seeing the planets assisting you by... I. It feels like there's a lot of caring energy around you, a real recognition of... 
it feels like a bit of an endurance test, to be honest. Okay, that's what I'm really seeing here. Now, let's draw some tarot cards and see what else we're showing, my beautiful souls. How are the planets currently aligning to support you? What are they doing to assist you in this situation? I do see all of these cards actually, and those three. Okay. So first of all, um, we have the Three of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah, this is beginning to make sense. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Universe. We have the Six of Discs. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, I'm going to move those dice just a little bit further out the way here. So we can move our cards along and we have enough room for everything to show. We have temperance and then lastly we have judgment. How interesting. I, I think the situation that you're in will, will actually, um, we are being shown that it will come to a completion. I, I want to say in the near future, you know, that, that's what, with the universe as well. This will come to its, its, it will reach a conclusion. Whatever dilemma, whatever, whatever you're facing, it, there, there is an end, an end date to this. Okay, in a way, what um, your spirit team are currently really acknowledging is, firstly, they're really, really, really validating you. They're bigging you up for what you're doing. Okay, because you really are holding a very literally dignified position. You know, this card is really about um, finding your strengths and you're having to draw on your own inner strength in order to handle what, it, what actually ultimately involves a lot of extra work and a lot of juggling. You're juggling a lot of balls, juggling a lot of, there's a lot of swords up in the air here. You're actually managing this remarkably well. And the planetary alignments are actually orientating to, to cushion you, actually. Both now as you process what you're actually experiencing and as you juggle it, they're helping you and assisting you to process your experiences. And they will also be cushioning you and supporting you at the point when this sort of situation, that there is an end date, there is an end date. We don't necessarily know exactly what when that end date is. Something has to work its way through. But while this is being processed, and it does feel like a, a confrontation as such, um, simply because it's, it's drawing so much of your energy, um, pile one, you know, in a way, you're being bigged up, celebrated for the amazing job that you're doing. You know, you're really there for this person or people. You're really, really 100% there and it's amazing that you are. But it does mean you are juggling a vast amount in order to achieve that. So they're bigging you up. Because we've got this cat. Cats are very independent as opposed to these wolves. Wolves, um, you know, operate in packs. I'm not saying that lions don't, you know, come together, you know, as a as a pride of lions. But nevertheless, they are still cats generally, and domestic cats. They're much more independent. And even cats having nine lives, there is a message there that life will rebalance, and you will sort of get get your life back because I sort of feel as though there's just quite a lot of extra um, demands being placed on you. You are really, really supporting this situation. You're, it's pulling on all of your strengths. There is an end date to it. It will come to an end with the universe. It will complete. The universe is aligning to make sure that while you are juggling <laughs> all of these swords, I'm having to work solidly, the universe is actually orientating so that 
at the point when life comes back into balance, I mean, I mean, actually, they are already they, the universe, the planets are already orientating to support you in remaining balanced. I feel like a lot of nurturing energy being brought in for you. I don't know. Recently, we had a full moon. Actually, it was a. I mean, it was a full moon in Sagittarius. Now, these are timeless readings, so you could be uh, watching this at any time, but. If you are watching it as I've uploaded it, we have not long had a, a full moon in Sagittarius. And it's been very interesting, the number of people that I've spoken to who often find a full moon very highly emotionally charged. And so many people have said to me, gosh, I actually found this full, full moon really quite gentle in the energy that came in. And I, I think you would be possibly some of those people. It, it was as if the the lunar energy was holding that space of hope, of optimism, despite everything going on around. Just as this card shows you, despite all of the stuff going on, um, the moon really illuminated what really mattered and why it was important to be doing what you were doing or doing what you are doing. So yes, there is a toing and froing between work and the other demands upon your time there is an end there will be an end date and you really will be kind of crowned in that moment here you know, it's interesting although this is um, the card of number 20 we have three I just think really interesting we have three discs here rather like the three of pentacles just as we have the three of cups here three as a number as a card um, it always indicates a point where, you know, we reach a point where something can be evaluated or assessed and moved beyond, where there's new opportunity for growth. At the moment, I feel like you're divided. We've got these two, two separate discs. This will come to a head and, and there will be new growth possible for you. At the moment, you really are juggling an awful lot. And it is primarily because of this sense of kind of duty. You know, you're, it could be a working environment where you're needed more, but community, family, whoever it is, whatever it is, you're giving a lot at the moment. The planets are aligning to cushion you support you also to ensure that you receive um you receive the material stuff that you need to navigate this money finances practical stuff you will receive what you need they're really giving some reassurance here if you're feeling a bit like you're heading for burnout <laughs> i always think with this imagery here on the, the Ten of Wands here. It feels like burnout, solidly working away. So beautiful souls, you will receive what you need in order to be sustainable, even though you may be feeling a bit like you're burning out. And the planets are aligning to ensure that while all of this is going on, there will be pockets of respite, that lovely Four of Swords energy, pockets of retreat, respite for you to come back into balance. And as and when this reaches its conclusion, whenever that may be, and we'll draw some more cards to see if we're shown anything else for you, my beautiful pile one. But as and when it reaches its natural conclusion, in turn, you will be given um, the resources you need to rebuild yourself, as it were, to, to, to kind of almost like take back um, take back your world, but you're going to need to replenish a bit because you're giving so much. So you'll be given opportunity for retreat and replenishment to get yourself back into balance before you really begin to invest further. And everything you need will be brought to you. There's a lot of reassurance here. With the rose in the wing, I, uh, which I saw as a feather when I drew it in the first instance, I, I do feel there's a lot of angelic energy around you, angelic light. It's quite interesting that my little space here feels very, very lit up. It's really, um, there's a lot of sparkly energy around here, actually, really around this reading. It's absolutely beautiful. So I am going to um, draw some more cards for you. I think we will draw from some of the tea leaves just to see what else we are shown for 
my beautiful beautiful pile one hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally yeah I, I can see that you are going to be completely supported in finding pockets of retreat in order to replenish how interesting we have the card of May now we are we've just come through May actually we are now in June at the time that I'm doing this reading um, what I see in this is is a card of springtime with the cherry blossom here cherry blossom is one of the earliest flowering um, trees and I'm seeing you know a stream here so I don't know that this is necessarily suggesting that your circumstances will continue until next May a year ahead um, but the fact that we have blossom here above the hammock as well it, it would suggest that you are given an opportunity to replenish to come out feeling kind of like spring again may for me especially here in the uk it's a beautiful month it's the point when everything springs up everything literally it is the month of where we see fertility really showing itself all the blossoms come out on the trees it's stunning everything just suddenly um, bursts into life and I think that's really what we are being shown here you will be given pockets of respite so that you can kind of like burst back into life may we have more information please for our beautiful pile one okay and there are your cards my beautiful souls you have yoke feeling tied down or frustrated and then eagle triumph over troubles obstacles absolutely I mean this is exactly it I think it is it you there is a feeling of you having to give an awful lot an awful lot you are feeling t t tied down but this this will will be overcome triumph over troubles obstacles coming the universe the the planets are aligning to ensure that you take breaks you you get pockets of respite that allow you to rejuvenate regenerate to burst back into life for as long as this is um, taking place um, and there is also absolute assurance that there is an end date and when that happens again you will be supported it's very interesting when we have planetary alignments even thinking of the moon um, I do a, a moon a moon month um, kind of forecast actually where we look at the lunar energy and I give you really detailed information about the entire moon month the incoming flow of lunar energy and I do feel those those moon month updates really help for me at any rate and I, I know many of you are now following them and thank you so so much I'm truly humbled um, but those moon updates really help us to to navigate because we know when to take respite we know when to ease off we know then when to push forwards you know the lunar energy lends itself lends herself to the planetary alignments that are already there so you may find that listening to the moon is very very helpful to you while all of this is going on my beautiful pile one um, it will come to an end I don't see it as May, if I'm truly honest. I, I see this more as connected to the regeneration. But the planets will align. And if you think you were going to have a day when you plow ahead and crack on and do stuff, and suddenly something goes ap appears to go horribly wrong and you can't do what you thought you were going to do, it will be the universe and the planets aligning to stop you. And to give you a break and to stop you from working and to stop you from juggling everything it will be like do you know what we're looking after you today you're having a day away just slow it down you'll come back replenished you'll come back full of life again vibrancy rejuvenated and then you will handle what you are currently navigating i, I do see it as being something that you find difficult and yet simultaneously you're choosing to do it and big respect to you because you're approaching this from a position of genuine honor and dignity uh, pile one it will reach a completion I think you already know that whatever that this circumstance is um, but while it is happening trust that the planets and the moon will give you pockets of respite just as you need them so if something isn't running smoothly trust slow down take a breather 
Your message is beautifully clear, uh, pile one. I am sending you all the love in the world. I see that this is quite tough for you and, and I get that. Um, but my beautiful souls, you are being guided and supported. There is so much angelic light in this reading. I really feel like I'm flooded with light here. It's, it's quite beautiful. It really, really is, my beautiful souls. Um, thank you, Pal One, for joining me. Um, I'm very, very humbled um, to be reading for you today. Thank you. And, um, and truly, I am so touched. And I cannot tell you what it means to me um, when I know some of you are literally following my readings week in, week out. So do watch out for those all zodiac sign readings that I will be posting as we go through next week, along with the moon update as well. Obviously, if you're coming to this reading months and months later, um, just check out the channel because depending on where we are, there will be other um, zodiac sign readings, there will be other timeless readings, there'll be all sorts of stuff as always going on and a current moon month update as well. So do just, um, regardless of when you find this reading, do check the channel out and the videos there and there may well be other videos that are there that can actually be of support to you at this moment in time. Beautiful souls, I am sending you all the love in the world. Thank you for being here. Big respect. Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So we are asking, how are the planets currently aligning to support you? Um, I'm seeing the top and the bottom of those. Now, this card reflect, okay. This is about your ancestors supporting you. So this is really interesting. We have the Rune of the Self and we have the Rune of Journey, Rado. Now, we have now Aquarius and Uranus. Aquarius, this energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological. And then we have Uranus, which is really interesting because Uranus rules Aquarius. Your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. Look at the colors here. I mean, this is dynamic. Really, really dynamic. I think that uh, the planets are currently aligning to bring you a significant breakthrough. And your ancestors are absolutely with you. Now, how this comes, I am not sure, because we have the symbol of peace, we have the dolphin, and we have the Tudor rose. Now, the Tudor rose goes back to, um, in the UK, um, Tudor times, when there was the War of the Roses. It was a time of tremendous transformation and change. You know, okay, there was conflict around, but the point is, it was transformative energy, massively transformative energy. And this feels like this is sort of, I mean, very transformational. It's, it's um, earth, earth shaking, um, earth changing. So, very, very interesting energy. Rado, the rune of journey. Rado sometimes does signify a physical journey. It can also involve journeying within. Let's draw more cards before we say any more, um, my beautiful souls. But I think the planets are aligning to bring about a significant change, something that is very transformational in your world. Um, really, really something electrically transformational. Yeah, like a, even like a bolt from the blue coming in to you. A bolt from the blue. We have Pisces, Sensitize, and Solar Flares activate. Wow. Okay. Goodness me. You know when you get um, fire, Solar Flares, and Pisces, water? What do we get? Steam. Wow. Okay. And we have the peace sign. How interesting. Now, we will draw um, through, draw the astrology dice as well for you. What are we showing? This one is just off your vision, but it is actually Aries. My goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, 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 my goodness me. This is dynamic. This is change. You have Mars in Aries. This is extraordinary. I mean, you absolutely uncanny because Uranus rules Aquarius. Mars rules Aries. It's like things are lining up for you to really, really create very, a very, very, very significant point of change. 
an absolute point of activation of something. Oh, I do not know what this is just yet, but let's um, draw some more cards and find out. May we have information, please? What are the planets aligning um, to support? Uh, yeah, how are the planets aligning to support pile two, please? Um, how interesting, I'm feeling this and this from the bottom. I see this card too, and also this one. Right, let's dive in and look at these cards for you. We have, okay. So you have the nine of discs. Hmm, how interesting. I feel like I'm looking at a card that is saying you're going to um, kind of reap, what is it we reap what we sow? It's the outcome of something. On the other hand, oh, two nines, transformation, opportunity, something coming to fruition, you reap what you sow, you bring in a harvest, nine of wands, I mean, this is achievement, this is, uh, again, transformation. We have the teacher. We have the seven of swords. How interesting. We have the knight of swords. We have the chariot. I might need to move all these along a bit. Bear with me, please. Okay. This is so interesting. Your reading is becoming very clear. We have the five of discs. I think we can just about get those in. Okay, beautiful souls. Then you have the three of cups. How interesting. How, how interesting. So the planets are aligning to support you in, it's like a breakthrough point. It really is. It's activating something. It's generating something. It's creating something it's it's to do with you your your purpose your um yeah your purpose your calling your journey in in this lifetime it there's a higher purpose to it with uranus and aquarius i think you have a contribution to make i think some of you will be teaching people okay literally you'll be bringing forth something that helps people to see something differently to see more clearly maybe to cut cords or to um, develop their um, forthrightness their ability you know maybe for them to overcome their difficulties their problems to overcome any kind of division um, there's lots of different things here to do with um, interestingly enough to do um just to do with a sometimes emotional sensitivity and ultimately uh, we have also to do with possibly helping people overcome loss helping people overcome division or injustice helping people to cut cords helping people to um overcome challenges i think there is something within you that is you are going to kind of like perform a service ultimately for that is is so going to benefit so much more than just you it's being activated in you okay my my dears it is being activated in you you will um ultimately reap the rewards from this you will teach people you'll show people how to achieve these kinds of things you might become some kind of a a bit of a guru or um a leader of some sort a uh, you know you've got the wisdom of the ancestors working with you here you have the wisdom of the ancestors and um, with this dolphin as well do you know i am so struck by this yes and of course what do we have here you know the tudor rose and the peace sign this is like war and peace you remember there was that massively epic novel, War and Peace, which was a very big, big novel. Um, you might be writing a book. You, I mean, here we see someone's pe putting pen to paper. You could be, a, but if you, gosh, listen to me, I'm jumbling my words. I am so, uh, what is the word? Tongue-tied. Because whatever you're going to bring forth, it is, it is a really, really important contribution. 
and it's being activated right now. The universe, the planets are aligning to activate um, to activate the world so that you can actually bring this forth. You are being supported. And it really is about overcoming problems. It, it will be unique to you. We have um, the rune of the self. In many ways, you will draw on your own experiences. You know, we, we reap what we sow, so we understand, we learn um, from our life experiences. But my beautiful pile too, you have a very, 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 very significant contribution to make to the world and it is currently being activated absolutely you are probably finding you are deeply deeply sensitive this piscean energy here part of that sensitivity is so that you can tune into uh, your connectedness to the ancestors to your ancestors you may be helping people to overcome uh, problems that are passed down genetically from one person to another you know, this is world changing stuff because when we change things within ourselves and then we assist others in doing so, this is how we change the world. It happens one step at a time, one person at a time. War and peace. Do you know in tribal terms, the dolphin, that's what took me to this. And then I went, oh, war and peace, uh, the dolphin. Dolphins carry um, communication. They are the communicators. They were tribal legends said that they, they learned to communicate. It's why they can swim down to, you know, cities that were uh, cities of our ancestors where wisdom still sits. Um, what they can dive down and they can be present and receive information from those deeper, deeper um long lost forgotten worlds and then they can come back up to the surface and bring it out they can uh, they they breathe above the water but they swim in freedom beneath they journey between these two places and they communicate they sing the songs of the universe um, you are a communicator your purpose is here is to communicate in some way shape or form uh, pile two, whether you are writing, reading, speaking, teaching, uh, a, a leader in your community, but this is being activated. It's being activated now. The planets are aligning, very much aligning for you with Aries, um, with Mars in Aries, for you to get going on your journey, to get going on this project, to get going, to have the energy to activate your knowledge, your awareness, your connection to the ancestors. You are bringing almost like ancient wisdom, some of you, to the surface and to light to share it. Wow, yeah, something that has been buried, seeing this skeleton here, something, knowledge that was buried, that you, you are like one of those people that uh, revive knowledge, but you bring it in from like a contemporary perspective and you help people to see through difficulty, conflict, cutting cords, letting go of the past. Your reading pile two is, is phenomenal. Um, the planets are totally working with you in such an extraordinary way. I mean, this is electrifying literally to sit in your energy. Um, now I am going to, um, I am absolutely going to draw some more cards for you. In a way your reading f feels quite complete. Do you know, I have noticed my voice is getting quicker and quicker and quicker while I'm doing your reading. It's like I'm getting more and more excited and elevated by your energy and inspired. Yes, that is the word inspired. Now, and I'm feeling very humble as well. Now, let us get a sneaky peek or more information as to what this may be about for you. No, that doesn't feel right. May we have more information for pile two? Okay. You have here something important such as a new job or a raise, horse, short journey. Do you know what I'm really seeing though in this horse card? Horses are about power. You know, we still measure engines in horse power. Horses give power, they were um, you know, when, when man was, when man, humankind was able to um, befriend and work with horses, you know, they could 
hunt better, they could travel further, you know, this is to do with your, your empowerment. And yes, something important, you have something important to bring. Isn't it interesting the bag is closed? It's going to open, you're going to see what you need to see. Now, may we have more information for pile two. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. What a confirmation. And hat, you will be playing a different role. Yes, you are going to be stepping up, taking, uh, taking that pathway. This is just such a confirmation, such a confirmation uh, for everything that has been shown in your reading. Well, pile two. Truly, it is an honour to read for you. Really, really an honour. Um, what you are going to bring forth will be of profound benefit. And now is your starting point and the planets are aligning, absolutely aligning to support you to get going. And yeah, this is going to be quite life changing, not just for you, uh, you know, not just in terms of the people you help, but also for you as well. It will be for you and others too. Because as you step up into a very different role, um, you know, and it is important, then actually, of course, that is life changing. It really, really is. This is big. This is big. But the ancestors will be speaking through you and walking alongside you every step of the way. Beautiful souls, thank you for joining me. It is an honour to read for you. Thank you all of you. I know some of you do follow my readings week in, week out, and I am truly, truly privileged and honoured to be reading for you. Uh, it really, really is, it, yeah, it's an honour. And thank you so, so much. It means a lot to me That's that you know you follow my work consistently. Uh, thank you so, so much to all of you for being here. Uh, I am posting, um, I'm doing currently doing zodiac sign readings because it's a very powerful month coming up, and a powerful moon month. So I'm doing bigger readings this month for all zodiac signs. I'll be posting them through next week and a massive moon update as well. So do watch out for those beautiful souls. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this amazing community that we are building. Um, huge respect to you, beautiful souls. Thank you, Pal too. And I look forward to seeing you in my next reading. Bye. Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. And we are asking, you know, how are the planets currently aligning to support you? Fascinated that you have the energy of Badger and the card fierce. It is interesting because badger, badgers can be very fierce. They will defend, you know, to the, to the death actually, but only if they're cornered, only if necessary. You have the rune of ice, which is really interesting because that's almost like the opposite kind of energy. Let's see what we are showing for you, my beautiful pile three. How are the planets aligning um, to assist you, to support you? So 12th house we have, this is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. Then we have Aquarius. The energy is freedom loving, rebellious, idealistic and technological. Now, what I will say is Aquarius came out in pile two. So if for some reason you were drawn to both, then I strongly recommend you check out pile two. Though to be fair, we haven't really dived yet into the reading. Mm, this is a mixture of energy here. Very, very interesting mixture of energy. What else do we have? This also came out in pile two. Wow. Okay, solar flares activate. What else do we have here? Uh, trine sextile, symbiosis. Okay. How interesting. We will throw the astrology dice for you too. Is that showing here? And one has slid off. Okay, so we have Pluto in Leo. I believe the universe is supporting you in moving to, I want to say, a place of kind of celebratory rebirth. Something in your world that has been really quite overwhelming is going to 
come to an end it's going to rebirth it's going to transform I feel like you're going to be free of something some something that has caused you to feel stuck and defensive is going to come to a completion yeah let's put those here and draw some tarot cards for you pile three how interesting the universe is very um, actively working for you the planets are really really actively aligning to support you in coming through and out the other side of something maybe it's something where your buttons were pressed but it's an area of your life that felt well quite overwhelming something that you maybe have felt that you wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to I almost want to say escape from is a really interesting thing Mm, how fascinating. Let us draw more cards for pile three. Something you thought would be stuck forever or stuck in you maybe. May we have more information for pile three please. I am seeing this card here and also this one here. we have oh ten of cups okay your reading is becoming clear we have the nine um the card nine the hermit oh i just need to say i'm really thrilled for you pile three <laughs> this is so funny because I'm looking at this reading and thinking, gosh, something that felt stuck, there was conflict, it's this difficulty, you felt defensive, something that has felt overwhelming, you're gonna be free of this, how marvelous. And th these cards have just totally, totally handed me your message in such a different way. All of that is kind of real, but in a very specific way bear with me let us see your other cards first of all we have the universe we have the three of cups we have the ace of wands we have the three of swords we have the four of discs do you know i knew it we have the lovers we have the lovers sitting on the card of symbiosis how beautiful this is pile three i am utterly utterly thrilled for you Okay, now this is actually a relationship reading. So if you are in a completely harmonious relationship and you have never felt overwhelmed by anything going on either within a re that relationship or indeed you're, you know, you are not looking for it to move forwards in any way, shape or form, then this may well not actually be the reading for you. This is a relationship reading. Okay, and with Leo in Pluto, or Pluto in Leo, <laughs> you, are, you are moving from a place where you have felt overwhelmingly as if what you really, really want within relationship is not coming to you. And the, the planets are aligning to support you in overcoming this problem. The planets are aligning you to, aligning so that you do not ever feel alone again, so that you achieve that connectedness that it's like finding your your twin flame with the symbiosis card here finding your your twin flame coming together look at this beautiful um rainbow uh rainbow uh i guess kind of uh almost feels for me a bit like a prayer tie but i appreciate it is whatever it is it's it's tying the knot and with this beautiful dog here of loyalty, of connection, celebration, the lovers. Yes, this is a relationship reading. The planets are aligning to support you in overcoming a period of stuckness within relationship where I think you honestly lost sight of possibility. Maybe you were very badly hurt to the point where you became very, very, very defended, fiercely independent even, um, for fear of actually letting down your guard and being overwhelmed by someone that wouldn't necessarily have your best interests or anyone else's best interests at heart. 
you know, this card speaks of yielding to a greater cause or power. I think you have had connections in the past with someone who was very, very, very selfish. There was no room for you. They didn't have any kind of greater, bigger picture. They were very selfish, very self-orientated, and it left you very defended, feeling very stuck, quite hopeless about relationships. The planets are aligning to activate Oh, for you to be free of these perspectives of the past, to celebrate um, a rebirth uh, and uh, to activate your passion, your desire and these this space of possibility. And indeed, I do believe for some of you absolutely to activate um, the coming true of this relationship. Because within this reading, what we have are some really interesting cards. I'm seeing that you overcome this position of aloneness. And I do think, you know, we can be in a relationship. And if it is not a healthy, thriving one, the honest truth is that can be the loneliest place in the world. If you are with somebody and there's no connection, or indeed they are cruel or harmful, and you feel like you have to defend yourself, you can't be seen. We have the flamingo. Flamingos are very visible. They're also very, very good at standing on one leg for a long period of time and being in balance. I feel like you've had to keep the peace. You've had to manage things in a previous connection, or indeed maybe you have been doing that in your current relationship and it has been quite overwhelming and you have wondered whether it would ever change. This is the point of transformation. The planets are aligning to support this uh, releasing of the, any kind of burden, any history, anything that has been stuck, whether it is in an existing relationship or whether it is in the future potential of finding love. Your time of aloneness is coming to an end. Absolutely, the universe is a completion, an ending and a beginning. And you will never, ever, 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 look at this, no, speak to the hand. You will never, ever, ever tolerate or put up with a relationship that is out of balance again. You know it. And that's not because you are being defensive, but because you can be assertive. Okay. And you know it. You are in a place here with these threes. Look, we have the three of cups and the three of swords. You are in a place where you can have a new beginning where you have your voice, you have your vitality, and you know that you're entitled to it. With the four of discs, I see you being kind of crowned, really. You know, a point of being able to, being able to have what you deserve. Okay, this is really, really clear. The uh, planets are aligning to make this possible. They are aligning to create a space of new beginnings. Look at all the energy, the fire, the passion. Solar flares, activate, ace of wands, go, go, go. Symbiosis, a twin flame. So if it's an existing relationship and you are committed to it, we have the symbol of the cross here, seeing this as a real commitment. Uh, the five pointed star and the swans in this, oops, look at that. <laughs> My little um, pendulum just fell off. How interesting. Let's listen to that. Now, I'll speak about that in a moment. But look at these swans in love. Yeah, I think that you have thought that you were off course, that you would never be guided in to the relationship of your dreams, to your twin flame. And if you have met them, you have been wondering if they would ever be guided to you, perhaps back to you. For some of you, you have been parted. We see this badger here. Uh, and then another one appearing, just literally coming back into the picture over here. Yeah. I want to say your hard work pays off, has paid off here. And the planets are aligning to really make this possible for you. Let us draw some more cards for my beautiful pile three. Congratulations, pile three. I think this is something you really, really want. May we have information, please. I'm seeing both of these. 
information for my beautiful pile three. I feel like I do. I want to say congratulations. This is a time to celebrate. You have a broken ring parting of the ways. How interesting. I, I do feel that then perhaps I have to voice this as well for some of you. I mean, primarily, I've sort of said you've had an experience in the past where uh, we have dogs, loyalty, uh, beetle, good fortune, teardrops, great personal sorrow. Yeah, th this is such a confirmation because uh, I think you've had a relationship in the past, as I've already said, which failed you really. There could be, for some of you, the parting of the ways within an existing relationship and the new coming in very quickly. If you are single, you are parting the ways. It's like the grieving period is finally over. You can finally stop defending and step into a space of possibility and let something new, someone new, come into your life. That period of, of mourning is over. If you have had a relationship that broke down, that period of breakdown is now over. You are moving into a space where it's coming back together. There is what we see is good fortune and loyalty here with the dogs. This is really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Uh, pile three. Whatever has held you back within relationship that is now ceasing and the planets are aligning to free you of that overwhelm, that emotional overwhelm that came from historically a relationship that you have had or a relationship that you're in that is coming to an end or a relationship that you're in where actually finally someone is going to step up. Okay, that is what we're seeing. Good fortune and getting together. This is really a very loyal place here. I'm going to draw just a couple more cards for you. Beautiful pile three. Hat. You will be playing a very different role. How interesting. How interesting. And, you know, playing a different role here. Absolutely, because you will never tolerate this kind of stuff ever again. You know, absolutely, there's no way you're going to ever put up with anything like that. And you know it, your boundaries are impeccable now. We have the card of February and we have the bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. I think with February card, what I, what I see here is, um, what I see with your card of February, now, I, I will acknowledge that for some of you, perhaps, you know, we are talking a period of time for, hmm, I'm going to say, because this is looking to me to happen quite quickly. So I was about to say, gosh, February feels a long way off. It's June while I am doing this reading. Yeah, for sure. For some of you, perhaps you reach that point of loyalty, of commitment, where you really know that you have successfully climbed over that bridge and you are now established in a new relationship solidly with loyalty and you're no longer kind of sitting in that sort of, gosh, what if it goes wrong kind of place. So there could be an element of that. I also think, though, for some of you, what we're seeing in February is how cold, how cold you have, you were made to feel. You know, when, when you are in a relationship with somebody and they are not treating you very well or you are uh, being ignored or, or not connected with, it is the loneliest place in the world. It is really, really harsh and it can kind of freeze your heart a little bit. But... You are coming through this. You are crossing that bridge. You absolutely are. For some of you, you may have parted company in February, actually, and are really now thinking about, do you get back on your feet again? You know, February will have some reference point, perhaps to the past. But it is time for the period of mourning and defensiveness and feeling like you have to defend yourself and be fiercely independent. This is now, uh, the planets are aligning, the timing is perfect for you to move through and beyond this now and start afresh. My beautiful souls, start afresh. Passions are being activated, but in a really good boundaried way. You know, this is celebration, transformation. 
new love, new love, new passion, new life. Beautiful souls, you will cross this bridge and that is what the planets are aligning to support you in, to step into that space of possibility in love and in relationship, however that is within you know the uniqueness of your own world. My beautiful pile three, I have loved your reading, absolutely loved your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. And thank you so, so much. I know some of you, uh, I know that you follow my readings week in, week out, and I am really, really, really humbled by that. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. And I read your stories and I know that you're touching base uh, several times during the week as I post. So thank you so, so much. It is interesting when we look at this level of transformation and the planetary alignments to support you in something really powerfully positive. It's very interesting that we are about, at the time of my doing this reading, to embark on a very powerful new uh, a moon month, really, where there is a lot of energy for transformation. So you may be coming to this reading in months and months time, so that's fine, it's a timeless reading. But if you are watching this as I upload it, do watch out uh, for the moon month update. And also I am doing some really quite big all zodiac sign readings this, this month because we are really entering a space of such potential and such transformation. So watch out for those extra readings. I'll be posting them hopefully during uh, you know, the coming week. And uh, I look forward to seeing you for those really, really soon. Tons and tons of love, Pile 3. Uh, I really feel this is so... Oh, it's like a, it's a rebirth in love and it is beautiful. Tons and tons of love to you.